Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Danganronpa. Are you ready for the Chapter 2 trial? It's trial time! The investigation is just ending. We're right at the beginning of things. Yeah, we haven't forgotten anything. Not yet, so far. Alright, it's trial time. Let the murders begin. Let the murder trial begin. Alright, ready to- I'm ready to rock. No toko. Yeah, that little nudge. Even he knows she's crazy. He's hinting she's crazy here. She's a par crucial part of the class trial this time. Monokuma, you're giving shit away so easily. Like, these are obvious flags, right? Yo, drag her out here kicking and screaming. Alright, let's see this. And just like he said a few minutes later, he reappeared dragging her behind him. What? She's graduating to join Hollow Ea Gen 2. It's a false lead. Yeah, a false lead from Monokuma. Dude, yeah, he's he's lied to you a lot, but seriously, he's giving lots of hints for, he gives lots of hints for the murders though. He told him you didn't want to, but he forced you. Can you be a drag or yes. He'd also murder you if you didn't go, otherwise. Perfectly believable. Now everyone's here. Alright. Hustle onto the elevator and get the show on the road. See you there, Monokuma. Time to find out who killed Chihiro. Yeah, that better be a super strong false lead. Rest in peace, ultimate programmer. Your programming skills were not super useful when you got murdered. In case anyone forgot what she looked like when she died. And that murderer is one of us. Indeed it is. We even know, have an idea of who it is. Someone standing right here. How's it going, Toko? Not having a good day? Sorry to hear that. I'll be going to less. Hmm. Something odd about Toko's behavior. Wow, obvious hints. <laughs> He's like, I've given you enough help. He, he, give, he did give us some help, actually. I can't really complain about uh, how he's done. He's been given lots, lots of help. Xenon's the killer. Let's go. Fumi. For being 3D, she was remarkable. He still is only into the 2D women. At least he claims so. Everyone's hinting at Toko. You're sure it'll work at some just as always for rails? Yeah, I, I guess so. Is white haired chick his wife in the future? My wife in the future? I don't know, maybe. We'll see. The protagonist. I don't know, I feel like it would be an interesting pairing. But, we'll have to find out. No choice, down we go. Kyoko, I like Kyoko, she's pretty fun. If a little bit, um... Distant? Yeah, I'm gonna call her distant. A lot of the time she feels distant, but uh, it might work with our character. It, I don't feel like he has a ton of synergy with anyone else, either. Like Each step forward, I can feel my heart racing. Starting to race faster and faster. Yeah, Kyoko's good Civ. So is Aoi. And I do kind of like Celeste, but uh, I don't know. That would be a really... It, she doesn't even mesh well with her protagonist in any way. Like, Aoi, uh, maybe a little bit. Kyoko, a little bit too. Not that, no one who has, like, crazy good synergy, though. 
As soon as everyone was on, the elevator began to descend. I couldn't get a handle on my emotions. I couldn't stop speculating. Who's the killer? Why? Wait, why are you speculating? You should have enough evidence. Okay, if you're going down to try and kill someone, I feel like you should, to like, I feel like you should have enough evidence at this point where you're like, I know who this is. Uh, this is who I'm going to try and get convicted. And someone's going to have to convince me otherwise. Like, especially our character, they should have an idea of who the killer is. At this point, they shouldn't be like, oh my god, are they the killer? I didn't spoil myself. Uh, I haven't spoiled myself for this game yet, no. The steel box sank with heavy, clunking sounds deeper and deeper into the ground. As we went deeper, the uneasiness in my heart grew bigger and bigger. It's based on my decisions, so that's why. Is it? The elevator was unaffected, however, and continued to descend without hesitation. Until finally... You can spoil me or everyone with Google. I mean, you can if you want to. It came to a sudden stop. Here's the elevator. I feel like I'm making the right decisions though, so... You redecorated! Isn't it so fresh? So exciting? Don't waste your time with stupid questions. Get this over with. Alright, we're rip ready to go. Gotta say... Yeah, at least, uh, at least Monokuma appreciates someone's on his side, sort of. Get this show on the roof. Okay, we're getting to our seats. And so the curtain opens once again. A deadly judgment, a deadly deception, and a deadly betrayal. A deadly riddle, defense. Okay. A deadly class trial. He's just a psychopath. He is Monokuma, yeah, basically. Uh, let's see, set skills. As you can see, we have a lot of skills. Uh, we equipped all of our two skills. But hey, we get... Uh, focus gauge and... Uh, the bullet time battle. Okay, e-handbook. I assume this is just our evidence, right? What? How are our bullets generated? Monokuma, Sakura's account. Locker room dumbbell. Okay. I'm trying to remember if I know all these Monda's account. The admired strength more than anything else. I don't know how that's going to be relevant. She declined. Uh, lots of people, despite this, she had stayed her efforts. Even with someone in the locker room that might initiate issues her. Okay. Main hall, broken e handbook, genocide jack case file. Photos. Okay, I think. I think I remember everything. The hero was spotted leaving with a duffel bag, presumably on a way to excise, and not, but it wasn't found. Alright. Monokuma is actually. Okay, you want to spoil. Yeah. I have. The, I already have the idea that it's someone here. It might be one of the guys. Monokuma is Jesus with a jetpack. Yeah, that seems appropriate. Um. You don't think- I, I mean, you actually don't think it's Toko? There's no evidence on any of the other guys, though. Like, there's literally no evidence on someone. What would we convict them on? They're dicks? Like, you could reasonably hand it out to everyone, but the game is clearly telling you that it's Toko. Like, everyone said she looks sus. Monokuma's hinted she's relevant. Um... The fact that the posters were swapped, that just means they needed both cards. Here, I'll, I'll like go over it real quick here. Just wait and see, you won't believe it. I mean, okay, whatever, we'll play it. We'll play it. I was gonna say why I thought my thesis was right, but... Alright. Oh yeah, I would like to confirm something. For the... For the dialogue sections, can we just not fire our gun at a falsehood and have it re reset, or is that only for the first trial? So if we can do that every time, we'll probably do that every time. Just so we know what to fire where, instead of firing early. I think that's what I'd like to do. The first trial, I didn't do that. Okay, sounds like this. He says, let's talk for 900 pages for the info. Well, I mean, if it's surprising, I'm going to be interested. I'm interested to see if it's surprising. Let's see what we got. A basic explanation of the trial. 
Yeah, figure out the who done it. If we figure out who did it, they receive the punishment. If we pick the wrong one, everyone in the class gets it. What was used to deliver the fatal blow? There we go. Make my argument. Genocide Jack, case file, every dislink, locker room dumbbell. Okay. Locker room dumbbell is probably where we want to start. Here's with a headwind. That seems true. Killer used a blunt instrument, but. What kind of blunt instrument could it have been? That was obviously fake. Really? We missed? Really? Reset. Reset. That's annoying. I fired uh, a little bit late. Let's try that again. Hey, we can reset. That's fine. It was a head wound. That's true. Aiming is weird with this. Okay, that's true. That's true. There we go. Got it. It's clearly not a lead pipe, right? Why would he even suggest that? Now, we could say that Toko couldn't lift the dumbbell, now it might imply something else. So would the carpet change imply someone a lot stronger? Um, I don't necessarily know that that's the case, because I don't know how much weight they're implying the dumbbell has versus uh, anything else. Because this could be like a man or Sakura uh, doing the killing, right? And string up the body, yeah. Toko doesn't seem like the person who has the strength, but things hint she things hint towards her being Jack. We'll see. The wound on the head is consistent with the shape of a dumbbell. Yeah, it's obvious the dumbbell's the murder weapon. That's not a question. The poster is also fairly tall for her, as far as I can tell. Since I I would have guessed that Chihiro and Toko were about the same height. And she's hanging above the ground and the poster's still above her. It's a little bit hard to hang a poster that's above you. Like significantly above you, but there was equipment you could stand on. In the dialogue, she said she wasn't talking to any females, but was fine with the guys. Hmm, maybe. We'll see. No mistake in Nurm for of course we looked at her head wound. Why would we not? Alright. The criminal behind this hand sack is quite clear. Okay. Genocide Jack. Yeah, we're on that. We're on that train. We're on that train already. A new element to the non stop base. Would you like to hear more? Absolutely. What's going on? Lines of white noise appear to disrupt our reactions. Your truth bullets disappear if they hit these, so think of the obstacles in your debate. There's a way to keep the night noise from getting in your way. Press the R and B to attach the silencer, which you can use to shoot the white noise. Okay. Shoot an actual mark with your silence and the white noise, the time limit decreases, so take aim. Okay. We're not on gentle. We're not on gentle. Right mouse, fire, okay. Okay, what do we got for what do we got for bullets? Uh we got the case file is probably gonna be the most relevant one. Makes it impossible. Really? 
Really? I hate the delay on this. Here we go. Let's do it again. Is this guy's nervous? He seems to always be nervous, though. He was terrified last time, too, but... Hmm. How did that not go through? The text was miles to my left. Come on! Alright, whatever. Try it again. Do I have to, like, kill the white noise first? I guess I have to kill it in the first place. That's hitboxes are terrible, though. <laughs> There's a delay on the travel time, so I thought it wouldn't matter, but the hitbox is a little bit bigger than I thought it was. I guess. Or maybe it, just having it there. I don't know if this is true, but maybe just having the uh, white noise in, on the screen at all stops you from... Hitting, so you have to like click the white noise and then do something else. Maybe it just blocks the entire screen, but it's not clear that that's the case. Oh, wait, that's the now he's more tan than black. Yeah, she's definitely not black, she's tan, man. She got some tan features. But her vo her voice? Her voice, uh, her character, and like her actual appearance all suggest that she's just tan. Like maybe she's from Okinawa or something. Right. So we're just pointing out here that it's definitely Jack. Yep. The bloody message. Bloodlust. Why would you say boob lust? Anything that's dark colors black. Tanned people don't exist. Naegi, and they forget how, how an, in anime, ninety percent of characters are Jap, ninety-nine percent of characters are like Asian or Japanese. Like, if if you're watching an anime or anything that's like derivative of that, if someone's black, you'll fucking know. Like, it will be super obvious because they'll probably apply American stereotypes to them. Okay. So if someone's tan, if someone's a little bit dark, assume they're tan, a tanned Asian, and then you go to like Emmy Assassin. Yeah, we have Emmy Assassin and Emmy Alter, neither of which are black. Like, if there's a black character, you'll know. The other character is to very genocide Jack case. Oh yeah, uh, how the vision was position. There we go, easily. I didn't know. Yeah, Emmy Alter isn't black, he just happens to have dark skin. Like a black person. He actually has like almost black skin. It's di it's darker in Japan than it is in uh, North America. The killer suspends the body in a certain way. Yeah. yeah. He's actually lighter in the North American version, presumably because race because I don't know something <laughs> because I don't know dark colored people who aren't actually who aren't actually. Uh, from Africa or America or he's offensive or something, I guess. Mostly because he's basically white and then got magically tanned, probably. I thought people would take offense at that, I guess. Why don't you say boob lust? Hey, unafraid, how's it going? Maybe because you're in a serious murder trial and don't want to die? Like, there's real stakes here. People are actually dying. You could be next. In fact, you will definitely be next if you get this wrong. I feel like there's a lot of tension, too much for you to want to be like climbing around in. But that's just me, I guess. I mean, I, I've said some stupid stuff in tense situations to cool things down. I just didn't feel like it was tense enough at that point to actually need to say something like that. 
All right, Chihiro's definitely hung up the same way. Yep. The killer's either a cop. There's one more option. They already had access to those case files. But it's even it's it's not following Arkham's razor to say that person's parents or someone they knew was on the Genocide Jack case and they knew that information from that. Brought it in here off memory and then are a copycat killer. That seems like a lot of work. Okay. We've even been introduced to the concept of multiple personality disorder in this. It is a riddle, but it's also straightforward. Mental illness. Genocide Jack is Toko, but isn't. What does it mean? Hangman's Gambit, alright. Hold up, what is the word we're looking for? S-C-H-I-Z-O is what I would guess. Where's C? There we go. Zed. Zed, 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 Zed? I clicked the S and it didn't work. I forgot you had to multi-click them. It was like, it's not an S? What did I get wrong? That was that was the confusion. That was the confusion. I forgot I had to multi-tap them. I clicked it once and was like, it didn't work? It was a wrong? Yeah, they have disassociative identity disorder. Yep. He had a mental breakdown. Yeah. One. Her behavior changed. Yeah. She fainted and then she acted completely differently afterwards when she woke up. She's violent. Interested in the body, thinks it's funny. He's acting really strange. Yeah, she must have hit her head real hard. He says weird things like that. Like, it's really sketchy to suddenly start being a completely different person there. If you're not. Yeah, her melancholy disappeared. Her inferiority complex completely vanished. The minute she saw blood and fainted, she, her inferiority complex com disappeared. Hmm. Yeah, once she saw Shiro's body after regaining consciousness, she was calm. Yeah, this is pretty straightforward. I'm interested to see if they throw any curveballs my way, since the previous case had some interesting curveballs that we weren't able to see and someone else had to point out. This one has gone like straight forward so far and I'm interested to see what they send our way. You won't let Genocide Jack have control. Setting lines like that is pretty sketchy too. You'll drive him out, drive him out. Yeah, good luck. 
そもそもそいつが部屋に閉じこもっていたのは中の人間を外に出さないためだったんだ。Yep, this works. 深はトークは恐れていたんだよ。自分の中にいる殺人鬼が人を殺していくことをな。So, can we sentence someone's alternate personality to death, or do we just have to kill Toko? Asahina, Omae wa kanchigai shite iri yo da. Fukawa ga itta dou shite no imi wa dou shite wakaru no dewa naku. He's not saying how can you know that? How could you tell them? She's not the one. She's not the one! So, it's ga ore ni miyo na soudan o mochi kakete kita no wa. 昨日の夜、モノクマから動機の話をされる直前だった。Oh. そこで、そいつは実に興味深い話をしてくれた。Tell me more. Okay. 自分の中に殺人鬼がいる。そいつが暴れ出さないかと、いつも怯えている。She admitted it ahead of time? Oh my god. This is looking so bad for her. How the hell is she not the murderer, Poco? そのせいで、自分はネクラで排他的な性格になった。そうだったよな。Interpretation gave her a bleak attitude. 嘘だよね。I'm waiting for the curveball. I'm waiting for the curveball. If it's coming in, I'm waiting for it. ちょっと待っててくれるって言ったのに。Watch out for the crucial leads. I'm watching. 約束したのに。騙したのね。He's not even denying that it's, it's true, right? Like, I'm gonna read. I can't believe- You promised? You said you wouldn't tell anyone? I can't believe you lied? Dude, this is like, looking really bad for her. Where does the- I'm interested to see where the curveball goes. I mean, I'm willing to accept that Shihiro was trying to murder her and lied or something, or someone else came in, but it seems super sketchy for her. ここは現実世界だ。恋愛しているの人じゃないんだぞ。I mean, she's infatuated with him, so it doesn't surprise me. He was acting infatuated. I believe she'd say something stupid. She heard a pathos. Exactly. Like that would be really weird, but it would be a curveball if she was lying, right? Like that's what I'm trying to figure out what the curveball is. 約束を破ったのはそっちが先だ。ここにいる間は。何があろうと絶対にジェノサイダーには人殺しをさせないと。そのためにジェノサイダーは人殺しをさせないと。そのためにジェノサイダーは人殺しをさせないと。そのためにジェノサイダーは人殺しをさせないと。そのためにジェノサイダーは人殺しをさせないと。そのためにジェノサイダーは人殺しをさせないと。Like, how do we get this in a light that doesn't make Toko look bad? This is like an amazing screening. But this is an amazing framing, if it is a framing. The frame job. Like, Toko's had a complete mental breakdown. Now, it could be Bakuya, right? He does have some of the elements. He's, he's a guy he could steal. We don't know what's on the broken control panel. Uh, so it could be a, a woman's keypad somehow. But I mean, we have the women's accounted for, so it's kind of weird. Um, we haven't seen his evidence. I think, like, Bakuya could be the murderer, in theory. Because he knew about the Genocide Jack case. Okay. Bakuya, Bakuya knew about the Genocide Jack case file because he pointed it out to us. Uh, the issue is... Oko has said some really sketchy stuff. Like, even this line is really sketchy when she locks herself in a room and says he, she won't let him have control. A split personality can't be a mastermind? I'm saying the split personality did some shit. She woke up and is, like, terrified as she realized how screwed she is. Doesn't have to be a mastermind. She could have legitimately be going to the gym and then, like, lost control or something. <laughs> He said if I kept my promise, he'd go out with me. Yeah, so? 
She's misinterpreted a ton of dialogue, he said. That's fine. The Yakuya is like the next most likely person to be the killer, right? Because he already knows about that. Everyone else seems like almost completely discounted. He's the only one in the library all the time. He would know if someone came in. She said she tried to get... Like, her dialogue still sounds super suspicious. That was just terrible. Okay, how is it not your fault? Toko's body suddenly lunged backwards. A huge thud echoed across the courtroom, but in the next second... Is it me you were hoping to see? Yes. Okay. Ultimate murderous fiend. Okay, genocide Jill. Everyone's surprised. <laughs> to turn a blind eye to one's faults. Okay. I like her fate. I like the design they get. Like, I like the uh, design of her sprites. They're doing a good job with that. The overly extended tongue, the giant teeth. She's laughing so hard she's crying. This is like looking really good. Visually at least. Yeah, she's pretty intense. And her face reflects that. She looks really intense. Sound in my murder signs and the murder button. Yeah, just like every enemy has the top and bottom or the depth or the truth or whatever. Okay. All right, all right, chill. So this is the murderous fiend genocide, Jack. This, yeah, it's beyond insane. Hmm. She's the mastermind of all masterminds. Really. You lost your mind again? Seems about right. He just called her a hentai. He's a pervert, that's right. To live is to hurt others, okay. And that's our evil for survival. The act of living causes pain. I don't think even you believe that. You're like a bad version of the Joker here, but you aren't actually doing anything too dramatic other than one murder. Is this where she says she didn't do it? It's a serial killer. What's the motive? Everyone has that motive. If, if the world finds out she's genocide Jack, it becomes a problem. Yep. Her life would be forever ruined because she's a serial killer and goes to jail. Yep, that works. Yep, that is the motive. 
There's one other person who does that. At least one. Maybe. She's totally right, but what's bothering you? He said, I need to get more details about all this. What evidence does Toko have that she's not the uh, killer? Library death life stats a dead body, disappearing stain. Okay, I don't know what I'm gonna need here. Let's have a look. That would change things like if you had an Okay. What? I didn't see a lie there. I don't see what's different. Really? Really? Library death player? I don't know. I don't know what bullet I'm supposed to use here. Oh, I don't know what bullet to use here or what's the lie. Ah, status of the dead body. That's what we're looking for, right? But that. It's status of the dead body, right? It's gotta be status of the dead body in the first one. What's your the modus operandi matches. I don't know. I think it has to be that one, right? It was wrong. What is the... The disappearing stain, maybe? He's clearly hinting that it wasn't a lie, but I'm so confused. Is that the right one? The stain chain? It's not that one?! What is the contradiction?! The desk lamp, maybe? Compare, but okay. Modus, yeah. It's gotta be the rich guy's dialogue, right? It's gotta be his dialogue. I mean, I can see why the knives aren't there. She didn't have the knives, so she used something else. This doesn't make sense either. How would this work? Okay, stash to the body. She was strung up. She was strung up. She left the characters. Uses knives to hang people up, though, right? 
信念と情熱を持ってやってんの He murders people with scissors, yeah. But we don't have scissors here. You go to a fancy restaurant, they're very picky with the news and stuff, everything? Okay. I mean, I guess so. Yeah, the scissors. They have prop. Dude, like, we didn't find scissors anywhere. There's tons of things missing in the school. One clear difference. The victim's fatal injury is a bludgeon, not a stab. The cause of death is always a stab, but there's no only knives, right? Via scissors. Yeah. We haven't seen scissors anywhere, so unless she start, unless Monokuma gave her a pair of scissors, she wouldn't be able to use scissors. Yeah. Alright. Not true, serial killers who are regularly killing people eventually change up their methods, usually becoming more esoteric and violent. They don't endlessly keep the exact same pattern, they always ramp up. I've seen enough serial killer documentaries to know that's the case. It always gets more elaborate. And I've seen enough cra crappy crime, crime dramas too. No, that's true in real life. That's a, that's a ramp down. I mean, it changes to be something else. I don't know if that's... Yeah, maybe a ramp down, I don't know. Changing is similar. Inflicting detail, the cable is used. The arrangements, the pesto, and this is just tied up and hung up in a cross formation to try and frame someone. How the body was arranged, right? It leads to Vicuyo, right? Everything leads to Vicuyo if it's not Toko. Second difference is how she was suspended. What was used to suspend her is what matters. I remember what was used to suspend her. It was the extension cable from Bukuya's desk, which is missing. Which was found in the library where he's been hanging out, right? And it's missing. エリーの挟みだったんだよ。あのね、私はコルシにも張り付けにも自作の前挟みを使用しているの。日流なんだから道具にこだわって当然でしょ。エリーそれにそれにそれに。マー君は二つの相手って言ったけどそれは違う。マ
They all have distinctly male names, none of them are ambiguous. Ken Harada, Tetsuhiro Honda, Shoji, Kano, Takeshi, all male names. Katsuman, I don't know about Katsuman Asuna. Uchida's male, Takeshi again, Yudo, Takefumi. Those are all male Japanese names. Yeah. If I think about it, I know a few anime characters who share some of those names, so there's only a two there's only a couple unknowns if I wanted to guess by gender, that's fair. Damn. Alright, that's a good twist. I uh, I missed that one. Horny Jill? I mean, she's having fun. Oh, she's Fujoshi. Interesting. You wouldn't kill her Beautiful. All right, what a twist. Ikuya, you're looking awful, sus. And he's gonna lead on that. あたしはね、生き残るためとかそんなさ、ファイルユで殺しなんかしねえんだ。だけどもまんが一、生き残るために殺さなきゃいけない場合があったら。誰が張り付けやっちゅうもじなんかやるかってな。バレバレだし面
She's thinking. She's thinking? Yeah. You might come in at the last minute and give us some useful uh, information. The reason he pushed the theory of Genocide Jack was he's trying to frame her. Yep. That was a pretty good one. Yeah, big brain play. Um. If he says it's ridiculous and doesn't have. You do look pretty sus to when did you start looking, Texas? Hmm. She's, I guess she's a tier 2 detective, then. Huh? We were acting before we discovered the body. You were waiting outside there. But he said the locker rooms are suspicious, and then he directed us towards the women's first. We specifically got directed towards the women's first. Yep. They, I remember that scene. We didn't know who the victim was. We knew that... Or actually we did know it was Shihiro, I guess. Hmm. You knew about all the elements and directed me to them, right? A clear contradiction of what he said? A new element added to non-self debates? Tell me more. Yeah, we didn't at the time know it was Shihiro. We only knew that a few people- There was only like four of us and we were looking for someone, right? Game in a weak spot and hold down the left mouse button. You'll memorize that weak spot. The memorized phrase can only be shot once as a single truth bullet. If you shoot or change the truth bullet, it will disappear from the truth cylinder. What? You can use this flashback feature as made him feel. Come again. Let's read that. If you aim at a weak spot and hold down the left mouse button, you'll memorize the weak spot. The memorized phrase can be shot once as a single truth bullet. Okay. If you change or shoot the bullet, just pierce your center, you can use You don't have time to answer to a lie or contradiction in your loaded bullets. Might be wise to memorize a different weak spot and use that to make your case. And the best time to flashback, you have to use your wits, okay. If you don't use a flashback, you won't be refuting anything. Wait, really? Good luck. Shit. We got Momokuma file two. トガミの死体発見前の行動が変って。どこが変なの？チャンスがあれば女子高一生に入る。男子としては当然の行動です。被害者の藤崎は女だ。there we go. Found it. Nice! Okay, that's a cool mechanic. We hadn't found the body and you already knew it was Chihiro? Yeah. Ooh, caught in a nasty lie. I think this is the end for you, Bikuya. Or Bikuya. Okay. How is it so weird? Okay. Is it because he's あるはずだぞ。それを示してみろ。He Think about it, okay. They aren't exact replications. Genocide Jack could have replicated but didn't. But gave it away, obviously. Genocide Jack has her scissors. She could have used the scissors to murder. Thanks, Kyoko. 
The difference is the evidence that proves he's responsible. What could it be? Uh, what are we gonna do? Bullets again? Desk lamp slash the cow disappearing stain. Oh, I didn't want to fire. I didn't want to fire. I wanted to right click. Yeah. Do something very fishy about that red. No, no, no! Now the white noise! Now the white noise! Fuck! That white noise just showed up and screwed me up. It's not the posters. We had it there. Fuck. It's the library desk lamp. He's seen it before because he got it out. Give me my time back. Give me my time back. Give me my time back. Ah, I keep left clicking instead of right clicking those things when I need to. Oh well. Yeah. My reaction speed sucks. That's why I don't want to play uh, like Rainbow Six or something on stream, or Counter Strike on stream because I'm going to suck at it due to my terrible reaction speed. Look, it just popped up after I wanted to fire. That's so annoying. I fired before it was in the way. It's definitely the whole screen. Anyway. Ugh. More effectively, the whole screen, I think. Alright. You have seen it! It's the extension cable for your desk lamp. They were using it. And it was missing after the murder. I mean, realistically anyone could have taken it, but he's the most likely person because he's using the desk lamp all the time and would whine about it. Well, maybe he wouldn't whine for it. Yeah, that is our conclusion. Actually, not sure. I think he killed her in the men's room. He might have killed her in the men's room. Mm, there's something wrong with that. He's doing that again. He's totally calm, unconcerned. Like he's not involved because we got something wrong. Yeah, he knew about Jack. That's the problem. Okay, what's next? Who else knew? No one else, right? はい。わかる。何が引っかかるんだ。俺が藤崎千尋を女子高一で殺し、その死体を偽装した。そうすることでこの犯行を頭のおかしいさせる。Now I have a problem with the scene of the crime. Her case is paired with JFK's. It's true. He killed you here in the black girl's locker room? Yeah. Is it possible? It's the men's room. It's the men's room. We have enough evidence. It's possible she was killed elsewhere in care there. Yeah, Q is out. Yeah, he's out. 
根拠があるんだろうな。He's not just dead, we have hunger for it. Yeah, we took him off guard. When the story moved to the crime scene, he was so confident. <laughs> Eat the guy from the harem. <laughs> uh, we'll kick. Maybe he'll get murdered, okay? Unafraid, maybe he gets murdered. Maybe he gets murdered. Alright. Where is this guy? Wait, we'll protect Celeste. You want her to step on you? What got switched? That's easy. Monokim is filed. Dr. Turbos. I want to go with the other one. Where is it? That worked. That's not the best you've got. Oh, really? He wanted the other one, the, the print? Really? Okay, fine. It's this one. Both of them are evidence. Both of them count. The stain disappeared is, is also relevant because he he swapped carpets as well. The poster isn't appropriate for the room. But it supports the evidence. They both support it. I guess you'd run with the main one. I just wasn't sure which one was appropriate first. It's better. Yeah, you're right. Like, they're both correct. But I, and I agree that the, the stain is disappearing evidence. Like, we already know they got swapped because the poster, we put, we knew that ourselves. And a boy band. I swear to god, if they bring up the stain next, I'm gonna be pissed. Fuck me! Fuck me. See, this is what I want to do. I want to be like, Sakura, you know something that's changed in the room? Like a missing stain? I would have brought up the stain first if I was in this conversation. I would have been like, and then think of that fucking poster. You're... I wouldn't have I wouldn't have done it in this order, but that's just how I would argue. So. It's fine. I'm okay with taking hits because uh, I ordered them in the wrong way. Alright. Alright. It's not that the stain was scrubbed away, it was moved. Boys locker room carpet. They were scrubbed. Yep. Wow, Jean just swapped both of those to remember the place. To get, it's trying to deflect off of the fact that he's a guy, right? It's trying to hide the fact that he's, it's a guy that's a killer. What Shahira was doing there? Oh, we know how she got in there, that's easy. This is just an explanation. Yeah. Yeah, swipe your card e handbook across the card reader, you can't swipe your own because it's a woman. We use the ones in the uh, the dead people. 
Yeah, Leo, Leon's dead. Yeah, she was using it in a random battery. That was obvious. When he said, when Monokuma said that that handbook is not destroyed, I was like, oh, it's dead out of battery it was used. Oh. Yes, the hero knows that. Did you have gotten the boys' locker room somehow? Yeah, easy. All right, make our argument. What bullets do we think we're gonna need? Boys' locker room carpet, broken e handbook. Yeah, broken e handbook. Okay, broken e handbook. Swapping that bullet the minute we can. Don't worry about it. Yeah, it is. Yep. Fuck! Come on! I tried to blow them both up! That's not what she did! You potato! No, I, I clicked it wrong. That was the right thing to say. Fuck! He said the right thing. Ah, uh, fuck, we just got ourselves killed, didn't we? I think we just got ourselves killed. Uh, I was just waiting so long for a fucking bullet to fire. God damn it. I was like so pissed at like all oh, those freaking white noise bullshit always blocking me. I'm like, well, it'll miss anyway. And it worked. We didn't? What? We already did the video. Why are you guys why are you guys saying we didn't? Now I have to like tab out and double check. You guys are accusing me of not doing it? Come on guys. <laughs> we did the video. It's the Dragon Ball Z one where he says he's rolling a five star and you're like And it's a uh, Piccolo. Remember we even commented Piccolo sound Piccolo in Dragon Ball Z abridged is fantastic. And uh no, it said uh, end of it's end of day, uh, I'm afraid. It's end of day tomorrow or er, today ish. I believe. So it'll be like sun it'll be like Sunday ish, it'll unlock. No, she could have used Leon's the battery's dead. Yeah, we look bad now. Is that it then? She always killed the girl's locker room because the one that did it? Yeah. Who else could have done it? Interesting. What's the other way? A break from the trial. Okay, let's have a look. Oh, even Monokuma is not happy with this. Yep, recess. Alright, don't piss off Monokuma. All right, Mr. Stream, we're gonna try Brad again and fail. Yeah, we'll go for it.
I ain't afraid of failing. Before we even knew what was happening, the class trial had been put on hold. We headed off with Kyoko in the lead. Where she took us was... The murder scene again, yep. Hey, what up, Kyoko? I will do that tomorrow, guys. They'd like to examine the victim's body. Okay. Check it again. Very carefully. Take your time. Okay. No way. No. ベタベタと触るわけにもいかないから。お、俺は気持ち悪いとかそういうあれじゃなくて、これには宗教上の問題があるとかないとか。なるほど。我が野郎。All Alright, Gorilla. The ultimate gorilla. Some secret girl on Gorilla. Alright. Put her hands in a brief prayer, Sakura began to quietly examine her body. It's a trap? Is it a trap? It's a trap? Sakura's eyes were staring wildly at Shira's lifeless form. Her massive frame trembled. Baby already said what it is. Otokoda. It's monster energy. Really? All right. Why are you reacting like this? This is so over the top. Just be like, oh, interesting. We got rep. We got rep here. Oh, poor Jill. Sparker came out. That's it. It doesn't add too much, but it is evident. It is evident. Right. So he, he used his own keypad to get in. Because Motokimo made him, would have assigned him mail, I guess. So Chihiro's a guy. Yep, yep. A male until parental rights. Alright, Chihiro's a guy, which means he can use his own thing to get in. Giving him no problem getting his locker room. 
That would be true. And his handbook identified him as such. Alright. Hey, did the story just self-correct itself to fit my mistake? Or was that actually right? What? Someone didn't react to the truth? I, wait, okay. So it, is it self-correcting? It's not self-correcting, so I actually, like, shot out the right thing? By mistake? Shit, alright. Alright, I accidentally shot the right thing by mistake. Whoops. I think I accidentally succeeded here, damn, alright. Okay, the victim was killed and the boys moved to the girls. The killer could have used Sakura Junko's handbook because they're both dead and the handbook works. I mean... I guess the uh, the concept of battery life was never brought up, so that's reasonable. Yes, yes, he was obviously killed there. Using my luck to come to the elder. Hey, listen, listen here. It's it's you say it's my luck. Here's what happened. I just got that like one in a hundred chance of getting an SSR and accidentally shoved it right into this stupid game. I could have easily just got it wrong. Oh, this trial. I can understand the motive. You wanna... You wanna give the... Idea that a woman... Killed them? And that makes Jill more suspicious. He's trying to cast... A lot of blame on people and make it so that... People don't even consider... That it was a guy that killed them. If that's the plan. Who else could have done this though? We have like no pitch on anyone else. Could have been a K-scope. K-scope's less probable actually. Alright, you gonna solve this for us? Let's see how, how he deflects, or who he deflects onto. Who's <laughs> the killer? Surely he's gonna deflect at some point, right? Or point off at someone? ジェノサイドは He's too easygoing and he's enjoying us solving it. Yeah, he doesn't seem to be stressed out that he might be losing. It's also because the thought of losing doesn't cross his mind, right? Hmm. That was a double framing? I'm not sure who to accuse, though. I'm not sure who to accuse if it's a double frame job, though. Like, I don't think anyone else is, has acted smart enough to actually do that. Fatty here was actually shocked at the gender change. Killer was obviously Yuria. So who else would it be? It could be it could be Toko, right? Like it could still be Toko. I feel like those are the only two possibilities. I want to know if they sent this to the third person. Because Toko was stalking him super hard. I don't think we've seen anyone else like super suspicious. Yeah, so if you didn't know enough. When you found out Shuhiro was actually a guy. 
Yeah. So, make up a conch of an eye no kin in a runga. So, you want to bounce back to Toko? I don't think there's anyone other than Toko we can blame on this, right? Tamatama Saishoni Joshko is the style of Mitsketande. Anna Giso Stemita to you, Akeda. Come again. You're not the culprit. You came across the corpse in the girl's locker room and altered it. Why would you do that? もしそれが本当ならさ、じゃああんたがどうして死体の偽装なんかしたの？そんな理由などどうでもいい。今は犯人を。This is it could be Yasuhiro. It could be Yasuhiro, but he doesn't—he seems like a complete fucking dumbass. Now, muscles here could do it because he's pretty trigger happy on the bludgeoning, right? It could be muscles to the right to the side of Kyoko, or not like not like Gorilla, but I mean uh, the blockhead there. It could be Mondo, right? It could be Mundo if we want to just like blindly pick someone and say that the Genocide Jack stuff was completely random. It could be Mundo, right? I don't think the uh, a bl blunt weapon seems like a generic weapon like a fucking thug would use, right? I don't think the uh, divining guy is up to killing yet. <laughs> And Ishimaru, I don't know if Ishimaru is there yet either. He's pretty forceful, but I don't know. Who the heck is he? Yeah, Mundo only said he wouldn't kill girls. Exactly. So it does make him weak. It does make him look sketchy, but... I feel like he was also. Did we get a reaction out of Mundo? Hold up. Did we get a reaction out of Mundo? I feel like it's too far to scroll back recently. Like, it takes forever to scroll back in this game. It's way too far to scroll back, but I. Uh, hold up. Can we. Okay, we can scroll this way. We can use arrow keys instead of mouse wheel. Uh, let's see. Okay, Genocide Jill, Monokuma, Makoto, Ishimaru, Sakura, Ifumi Yamada. Yeah, we're missing reactions from a bunch of people. Hedgehog's missing, you're right. Which one's Ifumi? Who is Aoi, right? Which one's left? Okay, it's, it's this one. I'm trying to remember names. Fumi is fatty, right? Okay, it's fatty. We didn't get Mundo. Uh, we didn't get Kyotaka Ishimar. Or we, I think we did. Yeah, we got his reaction. He was shocked. I don't think we got Mundos at all. And we didn't get... Uh, hedgehogs. So we have a couple ideas. This is quite the twist. This is quite the twist. But like, what a random choice. This is very interesting. Okay. I was not expecting this level of twist. I was expecting... I was expecting a Toko on Bakuya framing, or like Bakuya framing Toko. I wasn't. I was kind of expecting like 
He's the second possibility if it's not Toko, but Toko looked really guilty. So I wanted to see the curveball, how it'd land on him. But I wasn't expecting this double curveball. This is very interesting. Who's the rear killer? The killer is a guy. Since the crime scene was the boys' locker room, you need a boys' hand coat. It'd probably be a guy. What's our argument? Uh, library display for the training scene, Celeste's account? Shit. I don't think it's the perv. Hmm. Celeste's account, he's I think the right bullet. At some point it might be enough for now. Ah, fuck! Game over, man! Game over! No, someone saw the victim. That's not true. Come on, come on. Toes are one thing, but... Nobody get a look at the killer? No, someone saw the killer. We have a sight of the victim. Slice the count. Give me that. It could be a girl using... Le use Leo to get in. Leo's is broken at this point. We have evidence. We have evidence for this one. Someone else saw the victim. Celeste. Yep. Yep. この話は苗木君にしかしていませんでしたか。では、皆さん知らなかったのですね。ですから、みんな ジャージなどを詰め込んでおられました。おそらくその足でトレーニングに向かったのでしょう。スポーツバッグにジャージ現場にそんなものは残されていなかったぞ。おそらく。やっとカバーがあるだ。処分したのだろう。証拠隠
すでに処分された証拠から犯人が判明するなんて。I'm trying to think. It's probably going to prompt me in a minute. I'm trying to think of who it could be. I mean, we could search rooms, but it's probably gone. Unless it's. Okay. It was blue. It had a sleeve. Decent variety of tracksuits. That's yeah, Mondo's really sweating here, isn't he, right? I've noticed that in a couple frames. He's sweating too much. Celeste's wigs for cosplay are so bad. You don't like Celeste's hair? Does the hero's track, track jacket hold a clue about the killer? Yeah, I'm curious too. How is this one gonna go? Make an argument. Shit, what are bullets are we using? Desk lamps. Disappearing stain Celeste's account. So much on the Fujisaki Chihiro. No rain, you need to stay the hazard. It was on his way to go exercise, yep. I'm not judge your end of the question. I should be trusted with it. I'm not judge to it. Oh, you in the Catazo. I ran the Chazo. I'm not the Monoto. Sorry, that's not enough. Sorry, I'm not. あいつ同じ青いジャージを持ってんだな。俺は黒いジャージで。黒いジャージすら持ってないですぞ。で、運動って嫌いだもん。俺は白いジャージを持ってんぞ。自粛車倉庫から持ってきたんだ。本当にこ
you know, back, another vagrant will come in. <laughs> oh, thanks for hanging out on the fridge. See you later. She didn't say what color it was. She just said it was a tracksuit. How'd you know it was blue? How'd you know it was blue, I guess, is the question. Man, I was trying to find something that matched a little bit better, and I was thinking I'd have to, like, pick up something. I don't know. I feel like they, they added that pickup mechanic, but it's been, like, a huge red herring here. It's like, I always want to try and pick it up, and it's failing when you try to pick stuff up. Okay. Yeah, she didn't say the jack color. All right. It was blue. うん、ワンダー。ワンダー、ワンダー、ワンダー、ワンダー、ワンダー、ワンダー、ワンダー、ワンダー、ワンダー、ワンダー、ワンダー、ワンダー、ワンダー、ワンダー、ワンダー、
本当に君が藤崎さんを殺したの。Really killed her? You really killed Chihiro? <笑>殺してるああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、Don't spam right click, yeah, it's right left, right left. Oh, that was Your time will never come to me. Alright, let's see it. ああ。その電子生徒手帳はそう簡単に壊れないはずだぞ。ええ、その通りです。完全防水でショック耐性も強いから、めったなことは壊れないはず。いや、there's gotta be another method to break one。ですが、この電子生徒手帳は壊れていますわよ。玄関ホールにあった桑田くんの電子生徒手帳もです。自信満々の割には。Yeah, considering it's been a week, two failures is pretty gross. It has a weak point. One was tested, the other one was actually broken. Someone figured it out. The heater seemed like a steamy place? Like. The sauna? Is it the sauna? Oh, it's just like The weak point of your cutting edge pen. It's not microwave proof. Yeah, it has aluminum in it. It has metal in it. So that would, it has more problems, right? With the microwave. Yeah. 
手の水分を含有する空気層が皮膚の周囲にできて皮膚を守ってくれるからですやっばいおしいサウナで高温の空気を皮膚に直接吹きつけるとやけどしますがこれは皮膚の周囲の空気層が乱れるせいなのですですのでサウナ内は静かにしておくようにしましょうねなるほどまた一つ賢くなったぞどうでもいい豆知識ですけどねでもさ被害者の電子生徒手帳がサウナで発見されたってことはもしかして犯人が狙って壊したのかな高音って弱点を狙って Strong evidence, yeah. これはやはり犯人が知っていたのだなでも犯人はどうやって知ったのこのクマは He spent a long time in the sauna. って言ってたよ。謎ですな。Wow, what a coincidence. 偶然知ったんだとしたら偶然とはどういう意味だ犯人は何かの檻に偶然サウナで電子生徒手帳を壊してしまった。そこで電子生徒手帳の弱点を知ったおかげで。I got too hot, yeah. Yeah, but the handbook they have, he's gonna get rid of it. Yep. Who would have done something like that? Takashi and Mondo. Who would have done something like that? 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 電子生徒手帳をサウナに持ち込んだかもしれない人。Wait, wait, I have to guess? <laughs> yeah, it was the two guys. I'm just thinking if it's gonna it's gonna give me that guy and Mundo and I'm like is it that guy instead? It's literally Mundo right? like Mundo was in a cl Mundo was wearing his uniform the other guy was like practically naked, right? Yeah no. Mundo was not in cloth Mundo Mundo wore everything and was roasting alive. And that guy was like, dude, calm down a little bit, right? The other guy's a stickler for rules. He wouldn't bring the sauna in there, right? It's Mundo, right? He was wearing all his clothing. サウナで電子生徒手帳を壊したのって君なんじゃないかな。な,なんだと？<笑>なぜだ？なぜそうなる？前に大和田くんと石丸くんはサウナで我慢比べをしたよね。Yeah. その時、hey? 大和田くんは制服を着たままサウナに入ってたけどさ。Kept his entire uniform on. 電子生徒手帳が。This is what I was thinking of, right? He is wearing all his clothes. The other guy is basically naked. You know what's what's it? Where is he gonna put the fucking tablet? Like it's not a phone. It's a tablet. He can't exactly just stick it down his friggin' towel. Like. There's only one person it could be, right? I was like, is it supposed to be someone else? Did I miss a detail somewhere? Don't want to get that. Don't want to get another. 11th hour twist onto someone else. His hairstyle is so stable, he can hold a towel, it's soaked. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to believe that either, but. We found something. What did we find? What are our bullets gonna be? Holy shit. Then Mundo, you broke your own handbook. Yeah, 
今の推理が正しいということになりますわね俺の電子製とデチはちゃんと動くぞあ、メスクマンほら見ろやはり苗木君の推理は間違っているんだモーダーが人を殺すはずがないんだどうだすると、大和田君が以前、自分の電子生徒手帳を壊していることになる。つまり、大和田君の生徒手帳が壊れていれば、今の推理が正しいということになります。Yeah, I want to use broken e handbook. I just. Come on! There's way too many there! ほら見ろナイギクンのスイリドリダトスルト。オーダクンがイゼン。ジブンのデンシテトテチョウコアスティルコトミナイギクン。Yeah, because I missed. オーダクンのセトテチョウがコアリティリバ。Yeah, we gotta wait. 今の推理が正しいということになりますわね。俺の電子生徒手帳はちゃんと動くぞ。Holy shit! ほら見ろ。やはり苗木君の推理は間違っているんだ。モーダーが人を殺すはずがないんだ。Did I just fire and not work? 苗木君の推理通りだとすると、大和田君は以前。自分の電子生徒手帳を壊していることになるつまり大和田君の生徒手帳が壊れていれば今の推理が正しいということになりますわね俺の電子生徒手帳はちゃんと Finally! Finally! Holy crap! Holy crap! That took like six tries! そもそも大和田君が持ってる電子生徒手帳って Is it actually yours or is it Chihiro's? どういう意味だ玄関ホールにあった壊れた電子生徒手帳本当はあの手帳が大和田君のものなんじゃないのいいよさっきから何を言ってるんだつまり大和田君は交換したんじゃないのかな It's what is for one that actually works He's got Leo's right? 壊れた自分の電子生徒手帳 Yeah, he's got Leon's Perfect 桑田君の電子生徒手帳だって小野熊も言ってたはずだよ Exactly, Leon's ha handbook never broke, so why would it break? And it has to be Steam. Why would Leon have broken it when he would have broken it? Now that it, we know it's impossible. Because it's, it's resistant to bludgeoning, but it's not resistant to heat, and he was bludgeoned. The bean box. So stay in all the other motte monocosoga. Kuatakun no dance say to the Baka lettuce tomato. You could have this name. Bacon lettuce tomato, aka what is the mocha? He's not loaning it out, he stole it. The dead are not students. That also works. That, I'm, I'm, I accept that logic. Okay, okay. I mean, I would have said stealing is fine too. Yeah, at this point, it's basically loot. Who cares? Yeah, please tell me I'm wrong, Mundo. Long trial, but a good one. Holy crap. You're glad I cut it short. Yeah, this would have been insanely late at night if we were still going on this. Because we wouldn't stop the trial. Okay, one more. Our overview.
Okay, finish the thought. Here we go. Uh, let's see. Chihiro, Celeste is here. She locks her own. Celeste is like, oh yeah, what's that? Uh, dumbbells. Donna. We have to fill in a spot there. It'd be like, oh right, we don't have to do that. Never mind. Hold up, I forgot we could throw. Girls. Here we go, here we go. That's what I was looking for. She points it out. She goes in here, act two. Uh, let's see. She's looking for not weights. She swipes her keypad to get in. Where's the men's? Is there a men's room as an icon? Bludgeoning the girls? Doesn't make a lot of sense. Here goes through the door. I want... Ah, here we go. The one that says boys. Found it. Thanks. Should be this one, right? At least I think it's that one. Okay. Here arrives, waves to them, says hi. Is it Chihiro from behind, maybe? It's probably Chihiro from behind, right? Unless this is Bakuya. Oh, it's Bakuya. Let's not do that one. What is this going to be then? Maybe weightlifting? It might be weightlifting. Weightlifting maybe? Dumbbell guy. Yeah, I'm thinking it's weightlifting. Now we have behind her attacking. He looks, turns around, in shock, blood. Maybe she hits the wall. Would anything else make sense? Uh, he doesn't touch the poster. Yeah, that's fine. I think it's this one. We'll see. Okay, he's rolling it. Next, uh, he's like, oh, I killed her. Leaves it there. The other poster, you think the other poster? I don't think that follows. How does that follow? It's bloody dumbbell. You think it's bloody dumbbell? Bloody dumbbell is right here though. That's not the right one. It's a duplicate. She definitely hit this. I'm not gonna do that one. It's not Bloody Dumbbell. The Bloody Dumbbell's right here. We can see it right here. Okay. Next, he... It's showing all the blood splatters, right? Not Chiro, it's a no poster. Cause here's like the act where they do this. Cause he shows up, right? Let's see. He shows up, he rolls up the carpet. Uh, maybe he tears. Wait, so I say, and he rolls down the carpet. I don't know. Rolls up the carpet. Or maybe like this. Grabs the, grabs the key pass, goes in. He 
These are all him. I'm throwing hard. You think I'm throwing hard? Girls room. It's girls room here, right? This one's gotta be girls room. This, guy, this one's girls room. So, she's dead on the left and the boys room thing's on the right. He's already adjusted the poster. He sees it and he's like, hot damn, all right. This is a repeat and we don't want it. Since we're going this way, rope. We didn't have rope earlier, right? We had no rope earlier. That's the first time rope's shown up. He draws that. We haven't seen the door handle. We have two left. Uh, let's see. It sits down here and melts. No, oh, beat this one. Act five, set the stage. Set the stage is the sauna. He then opens the door and throws it in. I think the door handle one, have we seen the door handle anywhere? Uh, door handle doesn't actually show up anywhere. It's a little bit sketch. We got time, I'm trying to confirm that this is what I want to do. From the last scene. That's what I'm trying to confirm. The door handle is the last scene, right? Like, we could also put it here, right? Is it going to the old one? Yeah, uh, possibly. This rope one's definitely not needed. This ball throwing one is definitely not there, it's not, definitely not that one. Sauna is, we should set the stage. I think this is accurate enough, I'm gonna do it. The door handle and ball from the last round, I know the balls from it. Let's see if this is accurate enough. You think I failed with you? Okay, we'll see. Bless Sashihiro in the thing. He was loading her sports bag. The blue tracksuit. Yep. This section's accurate. I know I got this one. Ooh, I might have the scan one might be wrong. The scan one might be wrong. We'll see. Made her in the locker room. This is the boys one. Alright, use his own handbook to gain interest in the boys' locker room. Yep. Yep. Okay, this is a quest. I think this is accurate. This one's accurate. Yep, killer grabbed the dumbbell. Bludgeoner. Oh, that's wrong. Damn. That one's wrong? What fits then? Shit, we have a minute. What the fuck fits? This one, maybe? Big zoomed in poster? Oh, 
Okay, let's try this again. I don't know that's right. Okay, that's not how I would have drawn it, but okay, okay. Alright, alright. I can see that. I thought that one was going to be the body hitting the floor. I thought that one was a depiction of the body hitting the poster, spraying blood on it. How is that one not... Alright. It's this one then, right? Swap these? No, that one's here. It's gotta be this one then. They gotta be in the opposite order. They gotta be in the opposite order. That one was a replicate, I couldn't do that one. There's another killer trying to have. Hey. Oh, so it's not a body falling against it, it's them spreading the poster out. Okay. Somehow attaching it to the wall via magic glue, I guess. Okay, cool. What? It's not that one. Time up, fuck. Seriously. We appear the one with the most votes is Makoto. I'm dead. Yeah, okay. Seriously? We have to go through this whole game again? How did I get voted off anyway? Alright, game over. <laughs> I guess I can give another shot. Okay. Seriously. Seriously, though. What a ridiculously annoying uh, series of minor changes. Yeah, I'm not sure for that one either. But I'm like, what the fuck? Some of these are really questionable. Alright. Uh, they feel questionable. They probably aren't. Uh, this one ends here. This is the sauna setting the stage. This one. I don't remember what I had here. I think it's the rope. No, it's not the rope. It's something else. It's... Uh... This one, right? He didn't have the rope here. It's rope... Blood... Yeah, it's him carrying the rope in blood. In this one... Uh... He was going to the girls' room, I think, maybe? This one, he's carrying it down and re-spreading it. Cool. This one is... Do, 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 do. Zoomed in blood splatter. This one uh, is the lip. That leaves just these two. Uh, this is the card scan. And this. Okay, I like this. This works. That works. Yeah, that kind of works. This, uh, not my choice, but that's fine. This we know works. It should work. <laughs> This is where we died? Ah, uh, this might be what we died on. Okay. Hey, I'm skipping through this because we've already seen it. We know this one's right. This is my hill, I'm dying here. Yeah. 
The poster, we know the zoomed in poster's right. We've trial and aired our way through it. Okay. He's like, oh, this is awkward. We need to clear its body up. He strips the poster off. Oh. Fuck, what? Alright. It's a girl's room then. And then spreading the poster? Maybe to tell us where we're going? I feel like in and girl's room would have worked, but... Uh, fuck, whatever. The dumbbell clearly doesn't work. This doesn't work. That doesn't work. Let's try this. I'm not sure I agree with this one. I mean, I guess you could use it to set the stage for the next one, but... Yep, scan someone else's. Also, Chihiro was dead, so you could use hers. Jesus, man. Alright, Chihiro can't use hers because she's a guy, right? Chihiro's a guy, never mind. Uh, I'm stupid. I'm stupid, ignore that. <laughs> okay. Okay. A crime scene switch, yep. Then he comes in. He randomly shows up and decided to fuck with the scene for a reasons unknown. He leaves. He gets some rope. His first thought upon encountering a body is, I want an extension cord. What is this guy doing? Yeah, my brain's more pudding than yours is. Maybe. He strung up her lifeless body. Fake Jack. Why though? What's your motive, friend? I don't understand why. This one, this scene makes sense, right? Yep, they want to destroy the evidence. Cool. That I mean that follows. Alright. Really, Mundo is the killer. There's one more phase of this trial. We're missing one game mode. Evidence has already been revealed. All I have to do is check one item. A new element. Absolutely, tell me about this new rule. Fever time and nega time. Drain a bullet time battle if you press space key. Fever time activates, the tempo goes up to max. Okay. Even if you push the buttons at random, you won't miss? Okay. You can just push LMB, RMB as much as you want to destroy the opponent's verbal assault. Damn, alright. It only lasts until focus gauge runs out. Okay. Nega time your opponent can use. If they activate it, your tempo disappears, making it hard to hit. Oh my god. Alright. Wait, wait, hold up. If you're a true or fever time, no, no, no. I'm sure nothing would happen. I don't know. What
Okay, good luck. Imagine needing sleep. Yeah, who needs sleep? Moment of truth. This idiot needs to be have the truth beaten into him. There we go, I think we got him. The handbook's broken! Only 7 a.m.? Let's see this death. Yep. Just check our handbooks. He admits it. Imagine being so weak to give in at this point. A, 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 A. Ready for the D? Wait, we got an A on it? What? I was gonna say we surely got like a C or a D on that one. Okay, game. 101 points for us, I guess. <laughs> it's a good line, isn't it? Alright, death time! Who will be the dead gun? Is this the right choice? The, the teddy bear, evil teddy bear is way too heavy. Vote time. Uh oh. He's guilty too. We got it right. Rest in peace, Mundo. Mundo. Yo, Taka chose the wrong answer. That's dangerous, Ishimaru. You need to be careful. Sumani. Where Ishimaru has his heart broken. <laughs> Mundo's taken a vow of silence, so allow me to explain on his behalf. It's the sad story of two men. Or for anyone who doesn't want to hear it, you can hold the control key to fast forward the text. Yeah, we're not going to do that. Let's see this sad, sad tale. There once was a young boy, and his name was Shihiro Fujisaki. He had an extreme inferiority complex regarding his own lack of strength. So weak, even though you're a boy. He heard things like that as long as he could remember, and he couldn't overcome his weakness. On the contrary, he tried to hide and buried himself further and further into that weakness, to take on the fragile form of a petite young girl. He had chosen that as his way out. <laughs> now no one will be able to say anything about, even though you're a boy... But no matter how tightly he wrapped himself in that shell, the inferiority complex had already taken root deep inside him, 
It was not so easily we did it. <laughs> Imagine Monokuma said that in your life. I know, that'd be so weird. You're like, press control to skip? What the? F what the hell, Monokuma? As it turned out, the shell was completely empty. The complex didn't disappear. Instead, it only grew stronger and stronger. Once the killing game had begun here at the school, he had no choice but to accept this fact. After all, this world is survival of the fittest. If you're not strong, you don't survive. And then the lovely and hateful Monokuma announced the revealing of the embarrassing secrets. Which of course included Shihiro's embarrassing secret, which I was more than willing to divulge. Even though he dresses like a girl, Chihiro is actually a boy. And that was something Chihiro couldn't let anyone find out no matter the cost. If that was revealed, it would be the end. The hardened shell would crack, the armor would fall away. Without a doubt, those around him would torture him more than ever before. Everyone figured being thrust into such a dilemma must have sent him into spiraling into despair. But... Doesn't want to talk about it right now. So you don't want to leave things Maybe later? After you try your best to become strong, you can tell everyone. Annoyingly, he used the threat of discovery to motive himself, motivate himself to become stronger. Now's your chance, he thinks. He's going to get stronger and accept who he is. Strong enough that when someone says, even though you're a boy, it'll be okay. You'll get better. With that thought at the front of his mind, he resolved to take immediate action, and so... That day, he made the commitment to be begin exercising. He was prepared to retrain his mind and body. But sadly, that would be the first and only chance he would get at it. When he decided to start exercising, he thought it would be good to ask for someone's help. But he wanted to tell that person his secret first, and then ask them to help him from there. And that person he went to... Was Mundo. Mundo. Mundo, why? The biker gang fella had been painfully clear about how important his manly promises were. So Chihiro probably figured that even if he confided in Mundo, his secret would make him keep the secret. His, oh sorry, his honor would make him keep the secret. Plus, Mr. Macho Mundo was the very symbol of a strong man Chihiro had always aspired to. Ooh, this is... You're looking worse and worse, Mundo. Maybe talking to Mundo would give him some courage? So we went and asked Mundo to help him become strong. That was his aspiration. And he thought that only with Mondo's support would he ever be able to come close to that. And that's why Mondo did what he did to keep the promise he made to Chihiro. Oh, that's why Mondo carried Chihiro from the boys' room to the girls' room. Could have been part of it, don't think it's the main reason. The real purpose was to keep the promise between men he'd made to Chihiro. How does moving the body keep a secret? If everyone knew he'd been killed in the boys' locker room, then, then everyone would have been arguing about how she got into the boys' locker room, right? Once that threat up, at least a few of us would have immediately begun to suspect his identity, so he tried to protect Chihiro's secret by putting him in the girls' locker room and stealing his handbook. And then Mundo did all that to keep the promise he made to Chihiro, who he also killed. <laughs> that poor Ishimaru doesn't understand. No matter what, you didn't want anyone to know. Hmm. The possibility of having your embarrassing memories and secrets exposed. <laughs> Nothing could have been that bad. Something you didn't want anyone to know if you'd have been killing someone? <laughs> the judge others by your own standards the height of folly. Yeah, you said that like twice. Even if you can't comprehend it, he obviously can. And that's all there is to it. Come on, run, Sephora, I tell you. That embarrassing memory, the secret he didn't want anyone to know. Mondo killed his own brother. Ooh. 
Bondo, the ultimate biker gang leader, makes all the hoodlums and riffraff across the tr country tremble. But the only reason he had the chance to join a gang in the first place was because of a certain someone. And Mundo's older brother's name was D Daya Owada. Mondo had nothing but respect for him because it was because of Daya that Mondo even got a motorcycle. Oh boy. Mondo's brother was his only family growing up. He was the only one Mondo could trust or respect. He wanted to measure up to his big brother, so he in in imitated him in everything he did. He was the epitome of the starry-eyed kid brother. Meanwhile, the charismatic older brother had put together a local motorcycle gang. And before anyone knew it, it had grown into the biggest biker gang in the country. Daya, the older brother, number one, and his number two, his younger brother, Mundo. In the beginning, everything was peaches and gravy, but when Mundo started to think about how he'd have to take over the gang from his brother someday, his brother's greatness, his reputation, began to gnaw on Mundo's very soul. The kid's gonna take over for Daya, huh? Daya created this gang with his bare hands. Mundo's just along for the ride. Can someone like that really be our leader? All that'll do is make the gang look bad. Almost every day, Mundo heard the gossip and whispers of the other members of the gang, which is why... You gotta get stronger than Daya. So once, just one time, no matter what, I gotta win. And on the night of his amazing brother's retirement ceremony, Mundo challenged him to a street race. During the race, tragedy struck. The kid brother pushed ahead with reckless abandon, eager, eager for victory, and dashed out into oncoming traffic. But suddenly, Laying in his kid brother's arms, the older brother delivered his final words. My bad, kid. I fucked up. Sorry. Of course, he knew it was his brother's fault, but Daya never blamed him for what happened. It, the rest is up to you. No matter what, you gotta keep the gang together. Because it's the team you and me put together. Oof. It's a, a promise between men. Shit. He decided to hide the truth of what happened from everyone else in the gang. In order to keep the gang together and keep the promise to his brother, he could never admit to anyone it was his own weakness that caused the accident. And as a result, the team was made even stronger under the banner of the kid who'd bested his big brother. Dai was going to lose to his king brother, so he got stupid and got himself killed. That became the explanation for what happened. Mundo's lie became the truth. He wanted to lead the team so bad he was willing to tell all kinds of lies about his brother. And yet, as soon as our killing game began, he realized, no matter how tough he pretended to be, he was just another weakling that could die in an instant. And then the lovely, hateful Monokuma announced the revealing of the embarrassing secrets. And at that point, it was clear I would have no problem shedding light on his secret. Oh dear. Mundo killed his own older brother. No matter what, I couldn't let the other gang members find it. If that happened, everything would have been ruined. Everything me and my brother worked to create would have been destroyed. His death, all the guilt I'd been carrying around, all would have been for nothing. And that's why. After I saw what Monokuma had on me, my head filled with a kind of fuzzy uneasiness and just started swirling around. I'd never felt anything like it before. I didn't know what to do, but I wasn't sure what to think or say, but after a while, that fuzzy uneasiness <laughs> turned itself into a rock-hard lump of anxiety way down in my stomach. And it was right around then that Shihiro asked me to start working out with him. Right there, I told me a secret. <laughs> Sorry, I Why now? Why are you telling me this all of a sudden? Because I mean, it, you've kept that secret all the time. If anyone found out, you'd. Right, but... 
He wants to change. Ooh. Oh, throwing all his weakness in his face. Ooh, that's that's an awkward moment. Mundo's Mundo's being weak and Chihiro's being strong in ways that uh, Mundo can't be. So he's ooh. He says, "Oh my god, it just keeps going." He does the an he does an anime speech. Oh my god. I wrapped myself in lies. I'm weak. I want to destroy that version of me forever. His words were like a knife in my gut. I felt like he was exposing the lie I'd been living myself. I have to change. I don't want to be weak anymore. You're so strong, it can't hurt you, right? Whatever secret Monokuma might tell us. So you're saying I should just say it? You're saying if I really am, I should just be able to tell everyone my secret? I was jealous. I was jealous of Chihiro's strength. He had the strength to face his own weakness to try and overcome it. It was the kind of strength I have never had. That's why I was jealous of him. Yeah, it's gotta burn, man. And that jealousy broke me. You're making fun of me? I'm strong, are you fucking with me now? I'm not making fun of you, you really are strong, Mundo. Mundo. I, I felt I could hear something starting to creak. Something inside my head. What did he want me to do? What was I supposed to do? Was I supposed to just sit back, let my secret get revealed, and ruin everything? Why'd you have to tell me? Are you trying to rub my failure rights? He doesn't know what you're feeling. I just really admire you. Oh man, you're making Shihiro cry. Don't do that, man. He didn't deserve this. He admires your strength. Right, he's strong. Strong. <laughs> Stronger than you. Oh boy. And stronger than Daya! I don't remember anything after that. When I woke up again, he was laying at my feet covered in blood. I had the dumbbell in my hand, and I was just staring at him down on the ground. I killed him. I killed Chihiro. Ooh, after all this time, he still sees himself as his weakest soul. Thanks for that, he did something he can't take back. Man, Mundo. He was normally so aggressive, so angry. He hid that weak side away from everyone. That was his secret. A weakness like that lived in a heart like his, and it turned him cold-blooded. Damn. You see, you're all just like him. For a secret from the past, for a memory. For that, he killed another living human in cold blood. He couldn't cut free of his regrets from the outside world. He doesn't know what true strength is. You see hope anywhere in there? Because I sure do. Ishimaru is still trying to bat for him. I'll say it as many times as I want. It's what I want to say, but... It's punishing time! That's what he promised. The black in the disturbs the peace gets punished. Time for punishment. Oh boy, here's this one gonna go. Last one was wild. Let's see this one. Oh, 
I was guessing it would be biker themed. Let's see. How does he kill him? Hero kept his gender and secret as a girl. It's pretty popular. I thought it wouldn't be so bad to renew. Better the trap, he's more popular. Probably. Is it just killing him like what would happen if he got put in a centrifuge or is he being electrocuted? Possibly both? Mundo butter. Okay. Laugh at death and your soul will be forever at peace. <gasps> Brother. Another murder, another execution. I, I want to really... Everyone's lives are taken, taken so damn lightly here. You feel like you might be going mad. Maybe I'll just... Let it happen. Ishimaru is still broken up over this. As Taka's sad screams invaded our skulls, we were each forced to realize once again. But he, of course, he had to. <laughs> Do you? One of our friends is dead and you're playing games? Yeah, what the fuck was Bikuya doing? Because the game is life or death. Yeah. You don't have a response except... Yeah, why, why arrange the body? Why go out of your way to disguise the crime? Nanda. Huh. You made things more interesting? His voice was calm, emotionless. Like the voice of death that chilled me to the bone. He thought it would be funner, more fun. Last night when the murder took place, I was in the library as usual. <laughs> of course he did. He doesn't give a shit. He never paid attention to it anyway. He didn't pay attention to the breakfast crew either. We knew that would happen. <laughs> The night grew late, and he decided to return to his room, when, which is when you stumbled upon him. <laughs> Mundo coming out of the girls' locker room. After he'd gone, I looked inside and saw the corpse. <laughs> you actually witnessed the murder? Yeah. <laughs> You're such a fool. He didn't have the slightest idea that I'd seen him. Hello. You knew the culprit from the start? So. But if that had been the end of it, how boring would that be? I mean, what a waste to have the answer revealed right at the beginning. <laughs> so you decided to lend a helping hand, make things a little spicier, liven things up. Yep, all that, just to liven shit up, really? After hearing about Genocide Jack from Toku, you decided to use that to create the fake murder scene. But if we hadn't figured out who'd really done it, you'd have been dead, right? <laughs> Obviously you would have revealed the truth, things went that badly. You a turn and looked me in the eye. <laughs> uh oh, he doesn't like me. <laughs> Thanks to a certain remarkable someone, it never did, and you were able to perform an interesting experiment. <laughs> One, once I decide to become blackened, I know who I'll have to watch out for. Uh oh, he doesn't like me. So that was a reason to figure out who's the smartest. <laughs> who to watch out for and who to kill. Yeah. Satisfied? Yeah, we're fucking done here, man. Moving on. Yeah. Uh, what up, Monokuma? You like to perform these elaborate executions each time, yeah. Why so elaborate? This punishment, the despair, it's not just for you. Of course not. A gift to mankind itself? I was, that's an exaggeration. They're meant to transform all hope to despair. How so? What do you mean? Me? 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 
mean, 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 mean. Why do you have to pick her? Yeah, because we're trying to fucking understand you and you don't seem to make any sense, Monokuma. <laughs> Whatever. In the end, I'm going to stand alone as Victor. Alright, Bakuya is going to stand alone as Victor. Everything's going to be revealed to him. This is the start of a terrifying friendship. Alright. Yeah, Monokuma is pretty childish, alright. He's gonna find and kill Monokuma once he wins. Seems like a good idea. For which victory is a foregone conclusion in the name of the Tagami family. No trash mobs for you. Oh, he really doesn't like Monokuma. Sounds like someone needs a nap. Who, who would have known a uh, teddy bear saying poo 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 would have been so uh, evil? Monokuma's laughter peeled across the courtroom and the curtain closed on the case of Shihiro and Mondo. But I knew that wasn't the end. The killing game would still continue because the mastermind wouldn't let it end. For those of us who were still alive, our worst fear and despair kept on multiplying. It was the kind of despair that felt like a blind puppy in hell had more of a future than us. All our courage, our effort, our friendship, it felt like it amounted to nothing at all. It was the worst kind of despair. That good. Uh, I don't know, but amazing. You think things are gonna speed up? Disappointed. You couldn't play his part. He's talking to the 16th person? Why isn't the 16th person here? Or is this- oh, this is the person in the group that's working with Monokuma, okay. So this is always a mystery person in the face, in the right? But everyone wants to see. There's one thing I'd like to ask. Who's the 16th student? The 16th is his ace in the hole. Matter, matter how close you are to your friends. <laughs> well, all right then. Chapter two over. The end. We're down to 10. A twin or a clone? I mean, that seems really likely. Maybe baby Monokuma at worst. Got an item, the crazy diamond. Babe, hell yeah, we're saving. So sad. <laughs> It's this one. Save. Alright guys, it's getting late. I like, I'm loving this, the, the, yeah, that, that jacket. A huge JoJo reference. The diamonds are unbreakable. Of course, the, half of Mundo's design screamed uh, it. But, it's getting late. And we finished that trial. That trial took way longer than I thought it would. 
But it was really good. I was not expecting the Mundo twist at all. I am really enjoying these twists. I hope the third trial has just as good of a twist. I feel like it's going to be hard for them to keep up doing crazy twists, but I'm interested to see what happens next. Thanks so much for hanging out, guys. Thanks for hanging out. I hope you guys have a great night, and I'll see you guys next time.